So my work focuses on China, which is not a country most people would think of when they think of democracy. Um, but my research uh, looks at how um, citizens in China can influence political choices and political outcomes. So it's in part looking at the responsiveness of the government um, and the regime. And so what I would like, so, so the aspect of democracy that I study is this aspect of responsiveness. And I hope that in my work focused on China, it can inspire scholars um, looking at other parts of the world or thinking about democracy uh, theoretically to disaggregate the concept um, and don't just focus on institutions like, like elections um, as a proxy for democracy. Over the course of uh, the fellowship, I completed a paper looking at um, the receptivity of local Chinese government officials to whether they would be receptive to incorporating the opinions of citizens into policy um, decisions and expenditure decisions. And so that was a survey-based experiment um, conducted among local Chinese officials, um, and uh, that was completed during the fellowship. In addition to the survey experiment on whether government officials are responsive, I've also finished an uh, online experiment looking at whether local governments actually respond um, to citizens who post um, complaints about um, government services. We find that actually local governments in China are quite responsive um, to citizens and in some ways the, the, the level of responsiveness is similar to what we might see um, in the U.S., at least among local bureaucrats, to um, U.S. citizens. So I think that speaks to other ways in which we can transcend the bounds of democracy or non-democracies that we usually think of. And I hope by um, working at a kind of more disaggregated level to disaggregate the concept of democracy that we can make more of those linkages.